One of the most annoying things that dropshippers have to deal with at the beginning, especially when they're first getting their store started, has to be the design. Designing a store is something that not everybody is very well familiarized with. From getting your store started to actually choosing the different colors that'll go with your brand to making a matching logo. It's all pretty complicated and truthfully speaking, a lot of us don't necessarily have that creative vision. But if this sounds like you, then don't worry at all because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can use the power of AI to be able to design your entire Shopify store in less than seven minutes. And with that being said, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So actually, before we do get started and start with our seven actual minutes of work, as always, I'm gonna have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different links, tips, tricks, and steps that I'm taking to get this done. If you want access to that, just go ahead and leave a comment down below with the hashtag AI design and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. When I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So first things first, the one prerequisite you're gonna have in order to get started is gonna be to have an account with AutoDS. Now, if you don't have an account with us just yet, or if you've been on the fence about joining, then you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you're signed up and ready to go, this is gonna be the first screen that you see, and you're simply gonna go to click on add store. Once we're on here, we're gonna choose our Shopify store, Go ahead and click on continue. And we're always gonna go with the middle option. The middle option is gonna be to use AI to generate a pre-built Shopify store. So click on continue. Then we need to select our niche. In this case, I'm gonna go with something different. A lot of the times I always go with pets because that's my favorite, but I'm gonna choose sports and fitness this time. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and click on next. And AI is gonna start building our store for us. Now, the cool thing about this is that not only is our store gonna be completely built for us, it's also gonna be preloaded with winning dropshipping products, all of which are handpicked by expert dropshippers that have either been trending in the past or are currently trending. All right, so now we're pretty much set. Let's go ahead and copy over our email. So then we just go over to Shopify, start our login, continue with our email that we were provided with, then our password. And that's pretty much it. Our store is completely done. So now we can go ahead and take a quick look at it. And here we have Sport Fitness, I think it is. Sport Fitness, that's a very small logo. We'll be able to change that though. Now, the website itself is very well made. So here, all the way at the bottom, we have a few reviews for the store itself, our products that were automatically imported, and a couple of different banners with some text and a link to go to our product section. So very well done, very straightforward, but I don't like these colors. They're not very sporty, I guess you can say. So let's run over to Gemini really fast. I've been using Gemini a lot more than ChatGPT lately. And if you want to check it out, the link is going to be in the description. But either way, it's free. And let's ask it, what are some cool colors? So I'm simply just going to ask it, what are some cool color palettes for an online store that sells sports and fitness equipment? I'm just going to get an idea for the different colors that can go together for something in this niche. So Gemini by Google gave me a few different options. So it gave me some bold and energetic options, motivational and confident, sophisticated and performance driven. That's pretty interesting. That would be more for a... I would say a high profit margins or a luxury style store for this particular niche. So I like the bold and energetic. That, that's going to be the most common one. So let's just go with this for now. And it's going to be a combination of red, yellow, and blue. So these colors are supposed to invoke energy, excitement, and competition. So let's run back over to our Shopify store. Now let's click on our online store. Click on the customize button. And this is where we can change all of those different options. So it's pretty easy. Just go ahead and click on, let's say, up here where the header is and you're gonna see your color scheme. Now from here, you can simply just go ahead and change it. And you know what? Give me hex codes for... So I'm asking it for the hex codes. The hex codes are these right here. So let's click on edit, and it's gonna be that little hashtag number, <laughs> hashtag, which pretty much just makes it a lot easier to specify the same color over and over, so you don't get different shades. So we could do a deep red, royal blue, and golden yellow with a black background, matte neon green, and matte neon pink for the accents and for the primary palette. That's really cool, that's very specific. Let's go ahead and just put this to the side really fast. And then for the background, I'm gonna go with what they said, a black background. We are gonna have to change the text. So let's just do something like, let's say dark gray for now. So you know, let's, let's, you know what? Let's do it black. We don't need a gradient, our text. Let's do the neon green. Looks interesting. Maybe we might wanna change that to white actually. Yeah, let's leave it at white. It's, it's a bit more classic. Then the buttons it was actually telling me to do green. So the button background, we're going to do green. That looks pretty good. What's the solid button label? Let's figure this out. Oh, it's the text on it. Okay. That we can either do black or white. I kind of like black though. Then we can do certain 
let's say like the outline we can either do the pink that i told us or we could just stick to, to green because honestly the green looks pretty good okay so honestly that actually doesn't look that bad and we only use two of the different colors even though the outline color here doesn't really show but still not bad all right so the next thing we need to do is to change that logo so for this we're going to go back to gemini and we're going to tell it to give me an idea for a so i'm asking it for an idea for a fitness store name and logo so catchy and short descriptive the fitness foundry peak performance you know what ignite is actually really cool so i'm going to stick to ignite and sparks the idea of getting started okay a stylized red and yellow flame let's you know what let's just go with that let's go with something simple so i'm over at kittle right now my favorite ai text to image generator so we're just simply going to go here and put a stylized red and yellow flame but before that let me change this background to black and then as far as our art style let's go with something pretty cool so i'm going to do the t-shirt graphic those usually come out really good and that's actually pretty cool that doesn't look that bad i like it now the only thing is is that background we got to get rid of so let's see if we could do the ai background remover really fast perfect let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger let's do this deep right over here with kind of a bolder font and you know what that looks really good all right so there we have our brand logo ignite let's go ahead and download that let's go back to our store click back up here on the header again and then we're simply going to scroll up and click on theme settings so we're going to change our logo now over here which shows logo go ahead and select image add an image which is where you're going to be uploading yours once done click on done and that's it you have an updated logo now after this all we got to do is just make sure we save refresh our store page and that's pretty much all there is to it now as you can see as you scroll down the color down here is going to stay black because that's what we chose and that's pretty much it it's pretty simple very basic straight to the point but honestly it looks so much better than the last one that, that was on there the pink really didn't fit the niche and it didn't really fit the brand style that i wanted to go with especially with this new logo that we made as you can see it's a lot bolder and it's a lot more i guess confident you can say and as far as designing our store that's pretty much all there is to it there's not much else you need to do now you are going to need to go through your store and make sure that everything is up to date so let's say all of the different policy pages and everything just make sure all of the information on there is accurate it's going to have a generic store name so just make sure you also update it with the one that you choose in our case ignite and with that being said remember if you want access to the cheat sheet just go ahead and leave a comment down below with the hashtag ai design and let me know what your takeaway was from this video did you find this simple enough to do? Is it something that you can understand or something that you feel comfortable doing yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Also, have you used AI before to this extent? Drop it down in the comments. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, my name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses. And with that, catch you all next time.